Hello guys, uh, welcome. To, hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, what we are going to do is to talk about the actual uh, ground pressure of the tank that it exerted to the ground. So as we know that this uh, Sherman tank is uh, about uh, seventy thousand four hundred pounds or thirty-two tons. Now, knowing the weight of the tank. We can determine the ground pressure of the tank that it exerted to the ground by knowing the source, surface area of the track that is in direct contact with the ground. So as you know here, there's about 155 inch length of the track that is in direct contact with the ground. And this track is about 23 inch wide. We can multiply 155 inch length of track in direct contact with the ground time is 23 inch width of the track time is 2 because we have uh, two tracks it's about 7130 square inch surface area let's divide the weight of the tank that is about 70,400 pounds divided by the 7130 square inch is going to give us about 9.87 pounds or 10 pounds per square inch so in theory this 70,400 pounds tank is uh, exerting about uh, 9.87 pounds per square inch to the ground or about uh, 10 pounds per square inch yeah, that's right. About 10 pounds per square inch. Of course, this is uh, in a, uh, using a, a very simplified assumptions. If the surface of the track is completely 100% uh, flat. But as you can see here, if we take a look here, there's a couple of uh, space gaps in the track itself. So this track is the TET link and as you notice here there's a space in the middle this is space I already measured it this is about three square inch and there's another space at the side the skirt on the left and as well as here in the right uh, this is all I already measured this, this is about uh, three square inch so in short, we have a, a space over here, the left, and another space at the center, and at the uh, right side skirt. It's not very easy here because as you see, the sprocket is uh, protruding on this part. But here in the ground, uh, you can easily see the space that I'm referring to. So there's uh, about three, three square inch here at the right uh, skirt as well as over there left skirt now taking all those uh, three space into consideration we can get the total uh, space area by multiplying it the number of uh, link that is in direct contact with the ground which is about 25 from here to here there is about 25 links that is in direct contact with the ground. We have 25 links. 25 times is 9 square inch. This is the total area of the space in the link that gives us about 225 square inch. We need to multiply it by 2 because we have 2 tracks. That give us about 450 square square inch. This deduct this uh, the space in the in the track with a total ideal surface area of the track that is in direct contact with the ground. So 7,140 minus 450. This give us about 
6,690 square inch. This is the actual surface uh, area that uh, we are supposed to use to get a, real, a more realistic number of the ground pressure that the tank is exerting to the ground. We need to divide the 70,400 uh, pounds width of the tank divided by the new number that is 6,690 square inch. It's going to give us about 10.5 pounds per square inch. Yeah, so that's it guys. Uh, realistically this tank is exerting about 10.5 pounds per square inch to the ground. That is uh, provided the tank is sitting on a soft ground surface wherein all of this uh, surface of the tank track is in direct contact with the ground but the thing is as you can see here we have uh, we have this uh, ridge notice we have a ridge over here protruding from the surface of this the trunk link and as you notice that this tank is sitting on this hard uh, concrete surface so we need a different calculation to uh, determine the exact ground pressure of the tank it exerted to the ground in a ground in a in a concrete hard surface as you see here this ridge is about 10 feet uh, this is about nine uh, ten inch long and about a quarter of an inch or three four inch wide that gives us about 7.5 square inch of surface area time is two that give us about 15 in square area for this part of the link now we need to multiply it by 2 15 square inch time is 2 because we have 2 track that give us about 30 square inch okay so now we have this 30 square inch we have to multiply it by 25 links so this same 25 is the link that is in direct contact with the ground that this give us about 750 square inch surface area of the ridge in short the surface of area of the ridge that it is in direct contact with the ground is 750 square inch now let's go back and uh, divide the weight of the tank that is about 70,400 pounds divided by 750 square inch give us about 93.87 pounds per square inch roughly about 92 94 pounds per square inch so in this situation when this tank is uh, sitting on this uh, while well, it's sitting on this hard concrete surface this tank this 70,400 pounds is exerting about 90 94 pounds per square inch to the ground So with all this computation, now we can um, arrive to a conclusion that this tank is about 10.5 pounds to 94 pounds square inch ground pressure to the ground. So depending on the type of the uh, surface where the tank is sitting, the ground pressure of this tank varies from 10.5 pounds to about 93, uh, 94 pounds per square inch. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any question, please uh, don't forget to put your comments below and let's talk about this.